All right, hi, back in Photoshop. So last time we made, took this and brought it into Mari with a tiled texture in the background and made something like this, a little bit cleaner. It should work as well as our bump. So, and what our other one looked like was this. So now we'll go into the channels, copy the R channel, red. New, create, paste it. Now you want to flip it. Form, flip vertical. Now you save it out. Do the same with the other two. Now we'll jump into ZBrush. Here's our mesh. Switch over to something that looks all right. And let's go divide it a few more times. Uh, 10 million should, should be fine. Uh, before doing this, you should go ahead and sculpt in some extra detail. You should, uh, if you feel like you need any, this mesh isn't too bad. Uh, for my project, I did sculpt in a little bit more wrinkles here and there. But this isn't a modeling or sculpting tutorial, so let's just ignore any spots and work on displacement. So you can go to Alpha, Import, and going to import the three so first we start with red so go to displacement under tools displace click on this big button and then you're going to click on red turn displacement on Oh, before we do that, let us make a morph target. Store morph target. Now go to layers, press new layer, which is this little square and a big square. You should probably name it. Let's let's name it red. All right, make sure it's recording. So it's there we go. Click uh, right around here, and then you should see a big record thing. You're going to go to displacement map, displacement on. You can kind of see the uh, details a little bit already. Let us increase it by a little bit. Not that much. Just a little bit. Just finding a good spot. Oh, what do we got? 0 0.002. Four, five, three. Let's try point zero zero five. Okay, that looks a little intense. Let's let's go back to what we had. Zero zero. Let's try three. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's keep it. So go to layers and stop recording. And did this right. Here. Oh, I know what I did wrong. So go back to here. Now it's recording again. Good displacement. Displacement on. Now apply displacement map. Apply it. We have the geometry to support it since we're at like 20 million actually. This is like half since points. So layers. And we turn it off. And we can hide it. And good. It's baked into that layer. So now click on this one, record, let's name it uh, RG Green. Now it's recording, so display the map. Let's pick green. Hey, that's not bad, but let's uh, let's test it around. Let's try 0 0.005. Oh, that's too much. 0 0.002. Hmm. 0 0.0015. Uh, I kind of like that one. It's like half of the other one. Apply. Layers. Now we stop. Now let's make sure they work. Good. Plus, and we'll name this one blue. R, G, and B. Record. Now, displace map. That's it. Oops, we already imported them. 
if you didn't flip them upside down like I did in Photoshop, you're gonna have to do that in here, which is pretty tedious. But luckily, I did. All right, that's pretty intense. Point zero 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 five. Hmm, is that bad? Not too bad. I kind of you know just play around with these. It's up to discretion, you know. Uh, sure, let's let's skip that for now. It's not too bad. It's the high frequency stuff. So, and let's make sure it works. All right. So starting from the top, that's uh, we can re reduce the amount. Let's go like half of that. Let's see how it looks. One we combine with this, which is a lot. So let's do half of that. All right, so pretty good. It's like the second layer skin or something. Turn that on and we'll do the same. It's good. Let's see how we go with that. Uh, don't really see the difference. 0.25. See how far we push this. It's 0.33. It's like subtle, but it's there. So when you're happy, you just bake all. Uh, let's go for it. Um, bake all. So now you got your displacement. So now you got to go around with your tablet. And clean up this extra stuff. Use the morph brush since we stored a morph target. So brush, B for brush, M for morph, and morph. Exercise. And let's see. I'm using a mouse, so yeah, you, you gotta have to like do it with a tablet. You can go around and clean that up, smooth it out. Whatever you like. So once you do that, oh yeah, some stuff like I think I messed up here, but there's this new um alpha copy brush you could try out. It's pretty nice. So what you do is you select the piece of the mesh and it turns into a brush and you can just drag it and it copies it kind of. For me it's a little slow but it's been a uh, it's not too bad. So let's see if I can find it actually. Alright so let's use the extractor brush. We will press G. Now you're in a copy mode. It's um it's right here. It, and yeah, the shortcut is G. So what you do is you have, press G, select, oops, G, drag a little bit, and it'll take a while. And wish it was faster, but it'll create an alpha based on your selection, which you can then drag around your model. Uh, I think I use the. Yeah, something like that. Maybe use like drag rectangle. Hmm. Gotta increase the intensity a little bit. Or decrease it. A little bit more. Stress spray. Oops. So yeah, if you have any like missing spots, you can just extract it and then like clean up, like fill in the blanks. But then again, this is not really a modeling tutorial. So anyways, we'll continue on. Uh, so we're going to take this high poly 
Division six, like twenty million or whatever polygons, or nine million points, whatever. And we will export it as an OBJ. And in the next one, I'll show you how to bake.